Hey, I'm Josh with CBI Offroad and Prince Hugh Design Studio. Today we're going to show you how to install a Prince Hugh roof rack on a Land Cruiser 100 series. Okay, so first to take the stock roof rails off, you're going to pop off this plastic cover up front here. You're going to want to use a flathead screwdriver or something similar to pop the cover off. Just gently work your way around. It's just uh, held in by two plastic pins right there. Uh, once you get that out, there are two bolts holding it in and they take a size T30 Torx. Um, I've already removed one for convenience, so after you get that out, we'll move on to the back. Uh, same thing in the back here, you're just gonna go ahead and pop off the cover. Uh, it's held on in the same manner again, just these two plastic pins here. And it also is going to take a Torx T30 bit to remove. All right, after you have the front and the back loosened, you can now pull up in the middle here and remove the rail. Then the last remaining piece to take off of the stock roof rail assembly is this middle piece right here. Um, same thing, T30 bit. And there you go. All right, and before we go ahead and install the Prince roof rack, one other step we're gonna take is to remove these little metal washers here. And I just get a pick or a flathead screwdriver and can go ahead and pop those off before we place our spacers in. So the next thing I'm gonna do is grab my crossbars and sort of pre-lay them out. It'll make things easier for us once we get going here. Uh, especially if you're doing this by yourself. Um, it can be done by one person. It's easier with two people, but I'll show you how to do it by yourself. So I'm just gonna lay out the crossbars on the roof here. Um, one thing you might want to take notice of is our drop-in points right here. Just preference, but it's nice to have them all lined up in the same direction, give you a cleaner look. All right, so next we're going to place the spacers down that come provided with your roof rack. Before we do that though, we're going to put down a nice glob of silicone to make sure we keep everything nice and sealed and waterproof. So you can go ahead and put a nice glob down. I'm going to do that for every hole. After you've got your silicone, you can go ahead and grab your spacers. Go ahead and set it down and make sure you've got a nice seal all the way around. If you don't, you can just pop it back off and place some more silicone down. All right, now that you've got the spacers down, before we go ahead and throw on the side rails, I'm just gonna place another little bit of silicone right here in the center. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and put the side rail on the vehicle. Just gonna go ahead and align it as best I can visually here. Uh, I've already preset the mount and card around the roof just to make it a little easier for myself. So we've just got our bolt and washer. I'm gonna go ahead and place those in and just hand tighten them to start with. All right, so once you've got your side row up there, you can go ahead and soap with your layout, sort of align the crossbars where you see that they're going in. And the crossbars mount in the smaller slots here. But this is modular, so you can mount a crossbar anywhere you want to, pretty much. Um, you can slide it around to fit your needs if you have any special mounting needs, um, anything on your roof that you're trying to avoid. Uh, that's what's nice about this system is you can go ahead and shift the crossbars around to fit your needs. So now we're just gonna move on to the other side and repeat the same process.
All right, so one thing to take note of is I did not place any crossbars over where the mounting feet are gonna go yet, and I only hand tighten those. Um, the reason I did that is because later, once we start getting everything tightened down, we're gonna wanna make sure that the roof rack is sitting square on the vehicle before we fully torque everything down. All right, so for installing the wind deflector, we've got our threaded inserts that just slide into the channel on our crossbars. Uh, what I like to do is set the wind deflector down, um, sort of square it off with the crossbar, and slide the inserts over to be aligned with the holes. Uh, once you've got them aligned, you can go ahead and set the wind deflector over the crossbar. And you'll notice on our wind deflectors, we use a clear powder coated aluminum crossbar as opposed to our black ones with drop points for everything else. And then you'll just use a standard Phillips head drive and go ahead and tighten it down. All right, so what I have here is our noise reducing trim. This goes on the bottom of our wind deflectors. Uh, this just helps ensure that your roof rack is as quiet as possible. Uh, we pride ourselves on making low profile, quiet roof racks, but this just takes it to the next level. And to install this, it just pops right on over the edge. It can be a little tricky to get on sometimes. I just like to do short little movements and work my way down. All right, so now I'm gonna place the wind deflector on. Uh, this is definitely easier with two people, but you can do it with one person as I'm about to try and show you. Um, to get the noise reducing trim to sit flush with the roof, you're gonna be in the very lowest position. On the wind deflector, we have three placements for adjustment, up and down, if you'd like. But if you do have the noise reducing trim and you wanna be flush with the roof, you're gonna go in the very lowest position. All right, before fully tightening everything down, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your roof rack is sitting on your vehicle squarely. Uh, there's two ways to do that. One is to just visually look at it um, from the front or back and see if it looks like the side rails are in a straight line. Uh, the other way to double check this is to look at the position of your bolts um, in comparison to the slots. So as you can see, we're about right in the center and if we look over to the other side, we're also right about in the center. And comparing all three mounting feet, looks like they're about sitting in the same position, so I'd say we are squarely on the vehicle and ready to tighten it down. All right, once you're confident that your rack is squarely on your vehicle, you can go ahead and fully tighten it down. I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter socket. You could also use a 13 millimeter wrench. Either way will work. Another feature we'd like to take into consideration is the functionality of your sunroof or moonroof, as it's sometimes called. And on this one, you can see we've got full range of motion for tilting it up. And also slides as well. There we go. Yep, so no issues with the sunroof. And there you have it. That's our install of the Land Cruiser 100 Series Princey Roof Rack. If you've got any questions, comments, concerns, you can find us online at princeydesignstudio.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks for watching.